guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another Timu Monday! Our favorite day of the week, my favorite day of the week, and today, it makes it even more fun because not only is it the mysteries of things that I bought that I can't remember, this is actually a mystery box and bag that have been sent from Timu. So this is Ivy and her friend, mostly Ivy, have put together, that's the girl that I talked to on Timu. Every month we've been putting me together a little mystery box instead of having me pick out items because picking out items is fun but I have tons of items that I picked out myself <laughs> so now it was fun to see what they think that I would like and I have to say that they hit the nail on the head every single time Ivy is amazing to speak to I have a joy of having conversation with her and it's amazing so like always uh the links for everything that will be down below with the cost because obviously I have no clue what's in these boxes also They'll be doing the $25 off $50 or more for new users. So you can click the link down below or use the code down below. And without further ado, have you guys been getting packages in, in white? I've been getting white ones a lot lately, but obviously I have to get through all the orange ones before we get to the white ones because there's a lot. I've been trying to tell myself, stop ordering, Melissa. Wait till you get halfway through the items that you already have. But it's hard because I like shopping and I like a deal and it's fun, especially late night. So without further ado, let's maybe start with this one first and then we'll go to the box. Let me get this pillow off of here. Give me a little more room. So let's see. Now usually when they send it to me, there might be Timu bags inside of here that are different than when um, you order yourself. I guess so they know it's a influencer, even though I hate that word. I'm just a regular person just buying stuff and having fun showing it to you. These are big items. This won't come out easier. This won't come out easier. Ugh. What do we have here? Did it say anything on it? It says black. <laughs> Guess it is black. Oh, look at this picture frame. That's nice. Let me take it out of the thing. Rob's been wanting, because like when we did all of this for Minnie and Paco, um, he's like, well, what about a picture of Polo? <laughs> so, with this, now we can, um, put a picture of Polo, maybe, somewhere. We'll find a place to put Polo. But yeah, so we got a cute little frame. Looks nice. I guess you remove the film in the front. Yep, reminder, please peel off protective film. And it is plastic, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. Yeah, that's perfect. Rob's gonna be happy about that. Because he's like, what about Polo on the wall back here? And I was like, well, these guys are not around anymore. <laughs> he's right here. I still keep trying to get him on camera and do things, but like, as soon as I get towards him and he sees a weird camera coming towards him, he's like, what are you doing? I'm going to run away now. <laughs> Yay, that's good. Rob's going to be happy about that. Now we can have free reign getting himself a little Polo photo. Now, it's the big and get more than one item. One item. Don't know. Oh, we got more than one item. Oh, this is cool. I think I've ordered something like this. I think I've ordered a couple things sort of like this. So let's put it together. It's like a little brush you can use to scrub. I'm guessing it goes like this. It's me guessing. <laughs> and then like this. No, like this. <laughs> And then this cap is what on top, I'm guessing. Yeah, and a cute little scrubber. And it like moves with like whatever you're working on. Oh, I wonder if I could do the ceiling in the, I've been wanting to do the ceiling in the um, screened in lanai as they call it, AKA back porch. <laughs> Cause we're thinking about getting rid of the fan and putting in just another, just a light. Cause we never really turn the fan on. So this could be good to clean up there with like some bleach and water. Yeah. Rob's gonna be happy with that too. Because usually he does that, not me. <laughs> Alright, next item I'm pulling out. This looks like there's, there's a two fur in here. Just one and two. I also use these bags to bring some upstairs to many other different options. This one says three layer. Okay. I brought scissors for these ones and I have the other thing for opening boxes. Three layer. Got 
this thing. We got this thing. Comes with tools. Give me a moment. I'm going to see if I can check, figure this out. If not, I'll have to wait till she puts up the links or sends me a link so I know what to do with it. So, uno momento. Give me the gist of it, just because it's taking me a minute. And then I just realized that these things I need to side pull off. So now I'm going to have to take them all out <laughs> and start again. But yeah, so it's going to be like a little sand, which is going to be perfect for the flea market for little items or even for home for whatever you want. And you can even sit there and varnish these things, which is actually what I'm thinking. My dad has varnish, I believe. So I might just give him these pieces and then have him varnish them so they're a little bit more susceptible for the elements. And then I'll put it back on. So that's what I think I'm going to do. But yeah, I love that. I think it'll be perfect for the flea market. Now I don't want to use these screws. I'm going to immediately put it on the floor. One screw down. Yay, that's perfect. That's me perfect. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off, I'm going to take off the things. I'm going to give it to my dad the next time I see him. And hopefully he has varnish. I'm pretty sure he does. It's like dads always have varnish. I feel. If he doesn't, I'll ask him and I'll bring him varnish. Something that some something to keep him busy while he's healing. <laughs> and then we got the box. So it's a mystery box and beyond, we'll call it. <laughs> so further ado, let's get inside this one. I probably should use the other thing. Now I'm just using this. They take these boxes so well. <laughs> so well. So far, I'm enthralled and happy and overjoyed. And Papa was too. He found a screw when he doesn't know what's going on. Drop that. That's not yours. Don't play with it. Hold on. Polo. Polo, you like watching Mama film? We don't really like to be in videos, huh? We like watching film? Say hi to everybody. Say hi, my name's Polo. I was surrendered at six years old because somebody didn't want me. Then we said, we want you. And look how lovely you are. Hi. 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 <laughs> All right, back to the video. Yeah. Uh, I just opened, I literally just opened the flaps of the box and then he ran away. <laughs> so here we go. We got this one right here. This is Halloween tray. Halloween tray. Cute little Halloween tray. Also, another something that my dad can varnish. <laughs> and I wrote a little varnish. Well, especially when you got like plain wood, you just want to like protect it because you have water gets on it, seeps in it, whatever. But yeah, that'd be another little project for my dad. You can uh, varnish this also. Have a little varnish a thon. <laughs> Let me make like clear varnish. I hope he has that. Like, I don't really want it like dark colored, I just kind of want it like protected. <laughs> so that's cool, yeah. That's actually be a good gift. For me to varnish and then give to Bunny. She loves that Halloween. Or if my dad had varnish and then I give to Bunny. Here's another thing in the bag. I believe these are a polo. Yep, these are these like captive ones or just regular. These are yellow and a. There's no squeaker, so it's definitely not for a dog. Oh, I think I smell catnip. Oh, where'd he go? Polo! So here these are. Polo. What about this one? You look at them. <laughs> then what do we got here? This one doesn't say anything on the outside. Is that a giant over mouse pad? It is a giant over mouse pad. Actually, this would also be good to go underneath your laptop so it doesn't slide around. Or a mouse pad. That's cool. Or it could even be like to eat on. <laughs> but it has the rubber eyes on the back. That's cool. It almost looks like a lattice. A lattice like rug mat type situation. Papa sees all these like bags. <laughs> He's like, what are those? Oh, we have something big here. I have you do so good. I appreciate every little thing you did.
Oh my gosh, LED. Look at this. It's like a Halloween wreath. Ooh, I'll put this on the front door. I literally just sit down because I had the, one of my subscribers made one that had the dog thing on it with uh, my dogs and this, that, and the other. And I realized I should probably take that down now because I don't have a dog. So and I want people to be like, how's your dog? And I'll be like, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look at this, how cute this is. Can I put it up now? Even though, yeah, I can put it up now. Totally putting it up now. That is cute. So I was thinking about now getting a wreath or some sort of thing for each holiday, even though I don't really decorate that much inside the house. I could have the wreath showing my little bit of festiveness. So I don't like a bah humbuggy. I have a Christmas one. <laughs> and I think I just got one from another box that was 4th of July. I may keep that one too. Yay, that's cute. I like that. But you be jealous. Now we got this one. I do not know. As with some mystery. Welcome, foolish mortals. <laughs> and this is a cute little um, Halloween one to use during the holidays too. Like I'm fine with having like something like this at the house, like this. I'm just like have so much stuff everywhere that like trying to put things on the walls is like a bit too much for me. But that's cute, foolish mortals. Or even by the back door going outside. That's cute. Good quality too. And it has those little like sticky things in the back so they don't move. Sometimes they still do move. So you might need to put, like some people say to put hot glue dots on it or whatever. It just depends on your flooring. I have laminate. <laughs> That's cute. I like that a lot. Foolish mortals. We are. And then we got this one right here. Seems we got multiples. Oh, she went Halloweeny. She did go Halloweeny. It's like a little thing put somewhere. Look at that. Boo. <laughs> Boo. And I guess this is the second piece that will go with it. Where do you put these? Do these like hang over something like this? Maybe they like hang over something. Like a chair? Or something? Or doorway or maybe you like oh look there's another little one right here <laughs> maybe you hang it like this with like a tack you see that you want to play with it what is that that is not a cat toy i'm playing with it i'm not moving it that is not a cat toy so yeah these two these are super cute I'm gonna have to give some of this stuff to Bunny. This was cute. I don't even know what it is. It's a little, like, it's a little cat that's like, oh no. What just happened? Oh, I can't believe that happened. Or, or, oh, I can't believe my owners did that. Oh, oh, that's, that's what he would do, like, shake his head. Oh, oh. This will go right on my, um, little thing upstairs where I put all my, like, little, like, knickknacks. He's leaving now. He's fed up. He's not having any more fun down here with me. Oh, here's another one. So we got two. Match and set. So now we have these two. Both, both shaking their heads. <laughs> so much stuff. Now this one definitely gonna need my scissor thingy. This says plush toy. Let's go on in. Hope I don't mess it up. Still can't tell what it is. <laughs> what are you, Mr. Plushie? Is it a bear? Is it an aardvark? Is it a rat? Bear? Aardvark? Rat? Rhinoceros? <laughs> Do I see that too? What is that? 
Oh, you don't like that, huh? Oh, you want to bat it? Bat, bat. <laughs> he's like, he's like batting the thing. <laughs> I guess I'll see from the, um, when she gives it to me what this actually is. I'm going to say, I don't know. I'm going to say bear. <laughs> you want to bat that again? Go bat it. There it is. Get it. Now we got another, we got a lot of stuff. I guess I have a lot of stuff. You just come along on the journey. Chicken egg lamp. Is this like different than the ones that I've gotten before? Chicken egg lamp. Oh, my least favorite styrofoam. Gotta go slow. I don't want to break the styrofoam and get it everywhere. Oh my gosh, Kelly G. So it's like a legit chicken, but it has an egg that lights up. Oh, how far will this go? Not that far. We gotta plug it in somewhere. Hold on. All right, so I had the light off over here. So we got the legit chicken, and this thing's bright. This little egg butt bulb. <laughs> how cute is that? Right on my alley. <laughs> All right, move on the rest of the video. Good job, Ivy. I didn't, <laughs> I've not seen that on the site. People are always sending me different like chicken things and chick things, <laughs> but I've not seen that. Here we get another bag. One item, two items, take one item. Oh no. It is one of those blow up. You become like a big ghost. And then, is that like, is that your neck or your top? That's just a thing. Unless you hold it, you don't wear it. So it's just a blow up thing you hang. Okay. And it's got suction cups. Where can we make this happen? This goes in here, and it takes one, two, three, four double A's. We gotta do it. Okay, guys, look at this mother grabber. <laughs> and it's just like that. You put this on like a front porch. It comes in such a cut at the bottom. I guess you can such a cup it somewhere, and the tie at the top. I may have to put this outside. I've always wanted some sort of weird thing to put outside my house. It also came with this. So these are like little orange lights. Which I guess you can put around him or something like that. I got tint on my finger. But yeah, OMG. That is hilarious. Polo's confused. Polo, what is that? He's like, I don't know. That's a weird one. <laughs> Hilarious. Good job, Ivy. It also had this. I missed this one. So this one's the one that ties on the ribbon. So I guess you could suction cup it to a floor or a window or something. Maybe I'll have it on when Rob gets home. It's now deflated and Polo is just all over like what in the holy bejesus is this. <laughs> I like the Halloween theme in this one. It makes me actually gives me the kind of urge to Halloween it up. So now we got this. Is it another Halloween theme thing? Yes, it is. It's a little um, mummy with his eyeballs, like a uh, pillowcase. Little mummy pillowcase. That's cute. I bet. <laughs> I'm always constantly changing my um, pillowcase. I wonder if my mom has any one for Halloween pillowcase. I'm gonna have to ask her because she always changes it for the seasons on her pillowcases in the living room. So I don't know if she has a Halloween one. So maybe I'll see if she doesn't. I will give her this one. <laughs> Digital drum. High quality drum samples. A real beat feel. Holy bejesus. What is this? 
comes with this situation. We got some, we got these. We got some other cores. We got a foot pedal. Two foot pedals. Another cord. Instruction manual. Which I probably will have to read. Are we going to drop some beasts now? Maybe. Okay guys, this is the best adventure in the world for children. Because to play it, you have to put your headphones inside, which are in my ears right now. And so, I can hear all these. But you can't. <laughs> this is great for a child to be able to, like, learn and not annoy you. And it has all the different options. The volume go up and down. Special, demo, play, stop, click, ding. I probably sound weird because I have my headphones in. You can even use your fingers. And Polo could eat the wires. Oh my god, this is awesome. I'm going to play with it for a little while, and then I might even bring this to Rhode Island. It would be perfect for Jared and Jackson. And then they won't be able to annoy their parents. What a great invention. All right. I'm going to play for a little bit more, and then we'll finish on. That thing is neat. And it also has a, a plug in the back for an MP3 player, so I guess you could play maybe what's playing on your MP3 player, and then kind of go along with it. Maybe you could even record it. And I'm guessing if you plugged in a speaker, you could also hear it from the outside too if you wanted to have it like that. But that is perfect for kids to be able to just go wild and not drive their kids nuts. Touche. We got a few more items in here. Are they more Halloween themed? I think they are. <laughs> All right, first thing I'm pulling out. Oh, something's coming out. Well, these are little um, sticky things where you can stick them on like your windows. But you do have a sliding glass window, door, door, right there that I can put it on. You come with a whole bunch of different things. Let's see. She says she's sorry when she was getting, she got a little bit late to this, but I'm like, it's not really late because. I'm putting that thought white the first week in October, which I'm currently on vacation. So enjoy. <laughs> I'm enjoying. So you got this one. And they give you all the different pieces. So I guess you can make, keep that picture in the front in mind. I mean, I guess you can do whatever you want. You don't need to file the instructions. You can do whatever you feel. Those are cool too. What is next? It says, cats welcome, people tolerated. Aw. I had chihuahua ones like this or a dog one that we unboxed not too long ago and it made me a little sad, but, um, yeah, now we're cat people. We will be a dog person again. I just don't want to get another dog until we have a new house and we have a fenced in backyard. Hopefully then we'll think about getting another chihuahua because, you know, I, I do love my little Chi Chi's. But yeah, this is cute. And hang this somewhere. Maybe inside the front door. Oh, is he going crazy with that thing? I left the drum set over there. You trying to make some fat beats? What are you doing, Polo? Polo! Is he coming back? I don't know what he's doing. I hear his bell. <laughs> this one says... One piece. <laughs> Ooh, we got that styrofoam. Let's go, let's go gently. What do we got here? It's like a plant person or plant blob or plant something. But it is weird and I like it. He's making too much noise over there. I gotta check that out. He wasn't messing with the drums, but I don't know what he was doing. He's a wild one. But look at this thing cute. I wonder if it would really sit. It will. I can put like the end of my little thing and have it sitting there. He looks sad a little bit. He looks sad. Hard day being a stump. <laughs> and we have, I think, two more items. This one, I don't know. It might be fluffy. It's a hat. 
It is a hat. <laughs> so it's a little, a little furry. Does this come off too? No, that's connected. Yep, that's connected. I got my buns on, but let's see. I mean, it's pretty hot in Florida. We always get those mild days where we're here because we live in Florida. We think we're extremely cold, even though most people in the world would be like, this is a dream. For us, it's still cold. This is cute, though. Got little ears on it. They stick up. You can just put them like that, like stick up, like ears. Cozy. Never know. If, if, if I don't feel like it's cold enough this winter before I go to Rhode Island, to wear, then I'll bring it to Rhode Island and... I'm pretty sure definitely one of them will wear it. For sure. And then for the final item. It's a doll of some sort. Has beanies at the bottom. It's a Halloween gnome! I'm gonna get it to my mom. <laughs> so, I just gave my parents the ones the other day. The ones that had the, um... Like the vampire teeth and the other one. But this one's even cuter because she likes like candy corn themed things. So this is cute. She loves the braids. And it's always nice to have the ones that sit nicely like with a beanie. And these are way better than the Dollar Tree ones. Even though she keeps buying the Dollar Tree ones. Now he's laying on a ghost. <laughs> he likes to lay on everything now. Oh, this is so cute. She's going to love this. Oh my gosh, she's going to love it. Ivy, you are great. You did amazing. Yet again, I don't think you've ever done bad. He's all over that ghost right now. So thank you, Ivy. Thank you to your friend. Thank you to Timu for involving me in this whole situation and being able to send me a monthly mystery box because they are so much fun. Nothing is better than a mystery, at least for me. Um, I know you guys like it because you obviously keep watching, so you must like a mystery too. So like I said before, everything will be that still available will be down below with the prices so that you know what they are because I don't know what they are. And if you're new to Timu, there'll be a code and link down below to save you $25 off or $50 or more. So you could possibly send, save 50% off if you do 25 off 50, which is a darn good deal. I want that deal now. If I had that deal, I'd be shopping again, even though I don't need to shop right now. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comments or questions, put them down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, I put like space buns up. It's kind of different for me. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.